Hey, can you throw me another free sun? Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing super well. My pack is available right now in my store as well as in my Lightroom because I make no money off of YouTube. And without further ado, let's just get right into this tutorial. All right, this is what we're making right here. It's a little header I made for Phase Mew, and uh, it was inspired by a guy named Neji Design. I did use his pack for part of it and my pack for part of it. His pack, I mostly just took the gradient map and just kind of tweaked it to make it my own, but I did take it originally. It is his originally, but I did tweak it a bit. So credit for him, but um, if you want the gradient map, you can make it yourself. It's not super hard to make. I just took it because I thought his were super cool, and I'll put his link in the description, and yeah, let's get started. All right, here's where we're started with. I have a little camera raw filtered render. If you don't know how to make a render, super easy. Pretty much, I have a tutorial on it if you don't know how. It's a lot of blender work. It's not hard to learn, and also this one isn't super complex or anything, but it does look nice, so I chose this one. And as you can see right here, all the different filtering I have, this was inspired, of course, by Neji Design. All credit to him, but um, a lot of contrast in there, black and white. Then the red stripe and some parts of it, like the face mask, we're going to make glow. Um, later in the tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. It's super cool. Uh, not so simple, but I'll show you how I do it. And uh, yeah, let's go on to the next step. Alright, and then right here I'm just messing with some contrast parts. I made the tip of the gun a little bit darker, and I'm adding some nice red highlights here. They're not really highlights, I'm just uh, coloring it a little bit so then I can just sort of make it glow and be all cool. And I'm also making everything black and white except for the red highlights. That's super important for this tutorial, and it's going to have to be really, really dark as well. Um, everything except for the red, I'll make the sleeves darker as well, and I'll be adding in shadows later soon. All right, here we go. I darkened it a lot right here, and then I'm going to darken it some more and add a nice little tint to it right here, make it a little more colorful, and I'm adding a camera raw filter by just saving it as an image and going to filter, camera raw filter, or you can just like figure it out by like getting the render all rasterized and just doing it to the render itself. But right here, as you can see, shadows are going down. You can see I'm messing with the whites. Those are going down as well. Blacks are going down a tiny bit. Texture, eh, a lot of, it's pretty smooth nowadays, but I'm trying to make it super dark. It looks a little weird and awkward right now, but it will be fixed when we add in the glow and all that in just a second. All right, here we go, some nice blue. I did make the red spots blue by just adding a hue and saturation filter or a gradient map, depending on how you wanna do it. I actually did do a gradient map as well because I thought it worked better in the end, but yeah. Uh, pretty much right here, we're doing some blue, setting it to either divide or soft light or overlay, but pretty much we're gonna keep going with this till it looks nice, artificial, dark, and glowy. That's sort of what we want in this. All right, and then right here, I'm using my pack as well as Neji Designs pack. I will take some assets from my pack and some from his as well. Um, it's about half and half really, like the gradient maps are the biggest one that I take from his, as well as just a tiny bit of glow right here, but you can really find that in my pack as well. Um, but the gradient maps, you don't really need to buy the pack to get them. If you know how gradient maps work, they're not super hard, you just like, make a gradient map and put it over everything it's not super complex um there really is no like copyright on it or you're not really copying anyone by using a gradient map because everyone use them uh, uses them they're super common they're super simple to make but i was just using his because i liked his specifically because they're just really specific and nice and i am tweaking his as well to put my own little spin on it as well but this is inspired by him he's doing a uh, really great work so um, that's why i decided to do a style like this yeah and as you can see right here, I put that little asset in, I'm putting some glow behind it. 
Um, if you want to know how to do the glow, there are a bunch of videos by me, literally dozens of just how I do this glow behind the character. It's all pretty much the same. Um, yeah. All right, as you can see, I did make it darker and I am adding some nice little glow on the eyes. Right here, I started like this and I tried to make it all like glowy in the beginning. But what I ended up doing was just making the eyes completely white, getting rid of the pupil and the iris and all that, just getting rid of all of it. Then after that, I just put a glow on top of that because it looked so much better and it was more simple. So right here, yeah, I did the white and then I popped it in and then I added a gradient map to one half and a gradient map to the other half and it's really starting to sh take shape right now. I'm doing simple text. This text is edible. So when you buy the P if you buy the PSD, uh, you could just edit your own text. This was for uh, Mew. I was going to post it on Twitter, but it was really inspired by Neji Designs. I didn't want to seem like I was, you know, copying him. But yeah, the gradient maps were definitely very inspired by him. He's uh, he's awesome. Give him, give him some love if you can. All right, right here, making the shape. I did do this in my, I think it was my Kuno banner. I did the same type of thing. And right here, I just experimented with a stroke. I didn't really like it like this, like an overlay type thing. So what I did was I just made it blue and then I'm just adding some highlights right here by converting it to a, to a smart object and then just painting over it. I'm adding some glow behind the, um, I don't want to say that those sponsored icons right there just some nice simple glow right here and then there i'm doing the stroke right there a nice little drop shadow as well and i paint in a little shadow too because drop shadow is awful and you should just paint it in yourself but yeah right here as you can see i'm rasterizing it and then i'm going to paint over it and we are done here's our final product i hope you guys like the way it looks i certainly like it a lot that's why i'm showing you guys how to do it and yeah i hope you all have a great day bye